This is the first time I ever see Footbox G beatbox. Really? I have never watched anything of him before. Oh, man, he's all about that. I'm so proud of him. Bro, he just defeated the world champion, bro. <laughs> because he's Belgian. I'm so proud. I'm so fucking proud. Just great. Back, so back, back frit, mayonnaise, stofle sauce, curry was special, <laughs> boulette. Come on, the intro one in beatbox style, down. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, I'm even more cool. Let me begin. Let me begin. Let me begin. It's good. It's good. It's good. No, wait, 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 wait. Benny, ready, Benny, ready. Coffee, coffee. Wait, wait, wait. Coffee, coffee. Oh, I'm ready now. And it was like he ain't sense. There's no sense anymore. <laughs> it just sounds, bro. It's just like. We're like wannabe alems right now. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. We're providing like the, the versions from like the fucking Aldi and the little. That's like we, yeah. got, we got those versions right here. Yo, we got alem at home. Yeah, this is the yeah, alem. Yeah, we got alem at home. Alem at home. <laughs> Oh, great. That's an intro right there. Talking about Alem, oh, the <laughs> other half of Uni Team is on our screen, bro. That's the intro. Yeah, that's right. Alexinho that's right. versus Footbox G. We got a Belgian representative, Footbox G, who won world champion, by the way. Congratulations. Odir Barbel, yo, o herrlich land der Vaderen. Respect. Respect, dude. So, fun little context for you. At this point in time, Alex Nio versus Footbox, Alex Nio is actually the world champion of beatbox here. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was prior. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So, this is new champ versus old champ, basically. Oh, my God. In this battle, even though I, I see the views, 826k, there's, there's a lot more. So good. That's a disgrace. It doesn't have a million. It's a disgrace. I'm, I'm disappointed in the community. We need to get that to a million, guys. Show your support, show your love to Swiss. Get that, get this video to a million. Guys, go check out the content that is coming to Indicator's channel, guys. Uh, he will be dropping a comeback, original content, plus reactions with another handsome individual called Anthony Ray. I don't know if you heard about that guy. Ooh, I've heard about him. I've heard he's very handsome indeed. Hey, bro, stop, bro. <laughs> hey, bro. What's going on? I can't <laughs> handle you, bro. You're like seven foot nine. <laughs> Monster cock. No, I'm playing. I'm play. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, stop, stop. Jesus. Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> we're liking the video, and we're, we're now we're going to be very professional about this. Support Swiss Beatbox, support Alexinho, oh la la, and support Footbox G. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, so sexy intro, man. From France, current champion of the world, give it up for Alex Zinho. Actually, this guy is one of my favorite beatboxers, bro. I love this guy. Oh, I love this guy as well. It's one I've of my him, favorites. And yeah, I, I think he's one of the best, the best showman in like in beatbox. His charisma, I love this dude, man. Yeah, Alex Zinho, je t'aime. <laughs> je t'aime. <laughs> je t'aime beaucoup. Mon frère. In a different context, you would say, Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Voulez-vous beatboxer avec moi? <laughs> if, imagine if it's like beatboxer in, in French. Je beatboxer, tu beatboxer, il beatbox. Je beatbox, tu beatboxer. Et bon, bonsoir, <laughs> je m'appelle beatbox. Maybe it's because they also have a bucket, but their, their kicks are so powerful. What up, Doug? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Versus. You got, me, you got me choking on my fucking <laughs> coffee, bro. I'm out here trying to stay serious. I hear you in the background. Look at Alexino. I love this dude. Look at him. 
<laughs> Representative from Belgium, give it up for Foot Box G. Wow. 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 Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Incredible. I'll try not to be biased. You don't know who won this one yet, right? I, bro, I I don't know who won. So so I have no clue who. Nice. I don't know anything. Like this is the blindest reaction you'll ever get. Like I'm I'm I got a stick doing these reactions. I don't see shit. I don't this know is, who this won. Is, this is probably gonna be your. I, I I'm pretty sure this is gonna be your hardest vote. Okay 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 okay. okay. I say the toi, you say the toi. Uh, crowd toi. <laughs> Walking the wild run still drown Touch time but no playground Out of the world but still in time We go all in and it's cast down His, his hi-hats and his snares are insanely nasty. They're mental. Bro, they're disgusting, <laughs> bro. Yo, hey, by the way, this is the first time I ever see Footbox G beatbox. Really? I have never watched anything of him before. He's I'm dead so serious. Good. <laughs> he what the so fuck? so good, it's ridiculous. Oh my God, bro, his style is, <laughs> yo. Gonna hit you that first round with the one of probably the heaviest drill drops you've heard in beatbox yet because cast down is just it's just that <laughs> it's just that it's so good that was cool man I think you're gonna enjoy his other tracks as well I think you're gonna enjoy them a lot actually I didn't know what Footbox G style was going into this video but I'd say it's it's quite similar to Alexinos if I'm not mistaken they have quite similar styles like that super fast unorthodox rhythm they have they go off beats with certain sounds and make it work it's crazy man okay yeah I would I would give you the right there I would say there's a a couple of differences still, but you, yeah, we'll talk about that okay, a little okay, okay, yeah, bit yeah, yeah. more later. Yeah, Let's yeah, see yeah, Alex yeah. Nino's reaction yeah. first. The reason I'm saying that is because I haven't seen this battle or any of the, I haven't seen anything like 2020 and beyond, mm -hmm. right? So for me, I don't know how Alex Zinho has evolved his style compared to like when he was, bro, in like the, the GBBs, like in like the 2010s era, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, sure. So that's what I'm uh, basing it on. Yeah, okay. Yo, it's time to battle, right? Agreed. Against Shogo, oh uh, no, wait. It got replaced. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's Shogo dropped out of GBB, which is why Footbox was able to enter. Oh, so so because Shogo... Yes, Footbox had one wild card underneath like the, the, the actual placements of yeah. everyone who made it. Yeah. And there was one guy who dropped out. Shogo dropped so out. So with the guy who dropped out, Shogo, yeah. Footbox got that next wild card position. He did the limbs, made it to top 16, and now he's battling the world champ. Yeah, but then again, like two years later, he is the world champ. <laughs> he is the world champ. I'm going to get Belgian fries today. They're not French, guys. They're Belgian fries, okay? Belgian fries. Put some respect on, on, on the biggest accomplishment we have. And chocolate, and chocolate's pretty big too. Manneke, peace. I'm so proud, bro. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of both of them. I'm so proud of the beatbox community, bro. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, same. Hey, by the way, did Shogo ever compete in GBB? He did, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I think the same year Coldfish won, right? Yeah. Where he faced Bataco. Did he face Bataco? No, Codfish. Fi no, oh, wait, I don't know. Wait, I don't know if, I don't know. Yeah, no, you could be right because Bataco won from somebody and then battled codfish 
Yeah, I think he won from Shogo. I remember Shogo doing that <laughs> type of beat. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> that type of I can't do it, but that I remember him doing that. That's the first time I saw Shogo then. And also, I think a year earlier, that's the first time I saw his in the finals versus Napalm, I think. Oh man, his his had a had a great event back then as well. I have to rewatch that, maybe on my own, or maybe I'll do a reaction to it if people really want to see that, because it's been years. Oh, it's a, if you've not done a reaction to his Alexinho, we're gonna be doing that. I've yeah, never I've never done that. a reaction to it, but I think I saw it when it came out. Ah, okay. You know, yeah, that's possible. but I could like watch it again. If people want to see that, just let me know in the comment sections. <laughs> oh, he actually did Shogo's sound there. Against Shogo, oh, no way. It got replaced. What is food box? That's a Shogo beat. I think first round goes to footbox. I agree with you. I heavily agree with you. Almost feels like a Luxinho freestyled around here. Yeah. It wasn't wowing me as much and the crowd as like footbox's first round. Yeah, I, I feel I feel the same way. The way that the whole the whole track is like received, right? Mm -hmm. With with footbox there was this whole structure coming on and there were two heavy drops. And with Alexinho, it was this this great show, uh, like this great showcase of skill, yeah. but not necessarily the best structure wise for for music. Whereas Alexinho brought mostly the skill, Footbox brought uh, brought the skill and uh, the production in this case, which I, yeah. I think this first round is a clear winner for Footbox. Yeah, but since this is a battle, and Footbox's round sounded more like a battle compared to yeah. the, the showcase point you said about Alexinho, that that seemed more like a showcase or that's how we perceive it, and it is a battle, so just overall. No, I think, I think battle-wise, it's still a solid round. Yeah. Like it's still a solid battle round. Absolutely, but, but it's overall, well structured. overall, Footbox Cheese just was better. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I would okay. say so. And one thing, one thing still though, Yeah. like the, the Shogo counter, I think it's a funny concept, but I don't really think it worked there. I think life, a lot of people were like, nah, I don't know if you, you should be battling f like Shogo if Footbox is in front of you, because there's Footbox there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get what you mean. It was just like it's something to bring up the same way like Brez brought up the the loop station uh, th yeah. thing against uh, Rhythmind. Yeah, it's a soft burn. It's not yeah. quite a really hard burn. It's kind of a little bit of a diss, but it's nothing like very personal or nothing very impactful. It's like yeah, I w yeah. what now.
Oh, my days. Yo, he, he did a polyphonic thing, right? There's polyphonics going on there, yeah. The oscillation needles, the with the yeah. That's polyphonic because there's two, there's at least two notes. And then the part here at the end, would you say that he's doing polyphonics? Yeah, yeah, he is. He's also doing a very special time signature. Like for most music, it's still very trendful to have a 4-4 four -four beat. You probably mm -hmm. know what I mean with that, right? A 4-4 four -four beat. Yeah. Yeah, this is not a 4-4. Four -four. This could be a 3-4 or a 6-8. I think it's a 6-8. Wait, for the people watching this, could you explain that? Because certain people watching this will not understand like the, like, um, like sometimes I have to explain the concept of like a bar. Oh yeah, yeah of course. So a, a bar in a 4-4 four, four beat, it's uh, like a 4-4 four, four beat is uh, a beat that consists of four fourth notes. So in this case, one, two, three, four, that would be a 4-4 four, four beat. If you have a, a different beat that consists of like a different kind of signature, a different kind of note, so, for example, a 3-4, it would consist of three notes for a bar. And if you if you have a 6-8, the amount of notes that you have underneath the bar would double. Uh, and uh, so would the amount on top, which would create for a, how I would say this, a more fast-paced, like, -ta 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 kind of beat, which is what he's doing here. So, that could be either be a 6-8 or a 3-4 beat. And that's very, very difficult to pull off. It's very technical. Yeah. Yeah, it's really crazy. I don't think uh, like it, it connected with everyone in the crowd necessarily yeah. live, but it's uh, it, especially if you walk it back, you can one, two, three, ta 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 ta. That's that's kind of like how you have to count it. I think the judges caught up on it, and that's why they're sure. the judges. That's yeah, why sure. they're that's why those guys are the judges, and that's why the crowd is there for the reaction purposes and to enjoy it, and because it's an event. But mm -hmm. that's why we have those judges, because they will hear that, they hear those technicalities, and they will write it down. Bro, his yep. second his second round was solid. It was. It was super good. Technical, technical master. Yeah, man. Um, yo, I, yo, I really like footbox. From what I'm hearing, of <laughs> course, Belgian, like, incredible already. I knew that before I even started watching his stuff. The Belgian pride, it's burning inside of him. Wow. I need to get a flag, a Belgian flag. I need to hang that up, you know? Because mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's just so... And because, yo, the world champion is Belgian, I just... Man, oh, it's... I don't know, man. It's just... Uh, it's an, a wonderful time to be alive right now. Crazy. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> and uh, I'm just... I'm so proud. I'm so proud of him. All right. Let's, uh, let's get to you. Switch! Oh, he also does it. Crazy shit from Alexander. Second round, huh? I think Footbox takes this. You think Footbox takes this battle? Yes. Who would you say takes second round? Second round? I like my gut says Footbox. Your gut says Footbox for the second round. So does mine. 
So does mine. I think football is showcasing. You, yo, when you ask me these questions, I'm like, I don't know. But I don't know. What should I answer? Because <laughs> you're like, so you really think that? I'm like, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I think it's funny to take these kind of, kind of things serious. But when, when, when yeah. like, what, what Footbox does for his, like, uh, for his second round is he's showcasing so much super technical stuff here, right? Yes. And Alexinho basically decides to counter Footbox's first round in his second round, which... I think it's a good move. I think it worked. I, he did it really well, <laughs> if you ask me. But I still think that football. What was the what was the counter that he did from the first round to the second round? What was it? It's like you have those uh, with the the polyphonic sounds that he's doing. Uh, you have the the fish snare, which is like the snare that Footbox was using for the most part during his first round. And then when Alexinho like, that's actually a big fish. Yes, it's because he's doing that he snare did. like super loud, super oh. massive. Okay, and that's what he did in the first round. Okay, I get it. Because I was yeah. like lost to that reference. I was like, what does he do? What's that fish reference? Okay, I was going to ask. Yeah, we call right. it the fish snare because it's like, fish, fish. I, I can't do it. It's fish. Ah. <laughs> fish, fish, fish. Yeah, okay. Fish, fish, fish. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we, I suck, but yeah, I get it. Same. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I think that Footbox here is just showing so much technical skill and... It just went so well. His performance was literally flawless. I think Footbox takes this one as well. In my opinion, at least. Footbox really took this one. Alex, you did a I'm great job on countering that second round. Still amazing to listen to. So much skill as a beatboxer. Yeah, so much absolutely. charisma, what you said. He's such a funny guy. Yeah, he's charismatic as hell, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, you, you can't, you, you gotta love him. It's he, he's, like, he's like BBK. It's a pleasure to just watch him on stage. Yeah, some people have that. They just have, they just have that array, that aura of charisma it's yeah. quite beautiful <laughs> and alexinho is definitely just one of them let's take a little look let i'll put the volume lower so we can talk over it we can see the the results i kind of forgot what the vote was here it's gotta be yeah it's a look, five vote. yeah it's, yeah yeah it's like it's exactly <laughs> what i thought it would be you know sometimes world champion or not you just got to call it out the way it is man you just got to go with like the what does the decision say i was thinking like when you asked me that question and i hesitated i was thinking is there any reason for me to give it to alex Zinio? and i was thinking no i preferred everything footbox did yeah and i i kind of feel the same way i still think alex Zinio is like a great performance and still this was a great performance i don't think i would have beat him but yeah footbox just different level Different level. Oh yeah, together. absolutely. I would get absolutely demolished by. Oh, man, he's, oh man, I'm so proud of him, bro. He just defeated the world champion, bro. <laughs> bro. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud. I don't know why. It's because he's Belgian. I'm so proud. I'm so fucking proud. Yeah, it's not just because he's Belgian. He's also like this amazing person. He's working yeah. so hard for it. He's in 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 all of our communities. He's just great. Spack 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 frit mayonnaise stofle sauce curry was special. <laughs> Bullet, Vian Bell, and make some noise for Alex legend, bro, legend, legend. That's yeah, so good. He beat a world champion. That's that's, and then he became the world champion. And then he became the world champion a year later, bro. Hell yeah, or two years so, later, I should say. Bro, the Europeans are dangerous, man. I'm telling you, Europeans are dangerous. If we're talking beatbox, yes. Yeah. Yes, the Europeans are crazy. It's like different breeds in Europe, man. I mean, also like the Americans <laughs> and all that, but it's just, oh, we got a remix from South Africa as well, yeah. I would say Europeans are dangerous, yeah. And I'll tell you why. It's basically because France is, in, I think, one of the biggest beatbox countries in the world, right? I think it might be the biggest. And if we're gonna be looking at like the winners of GBBs and world championships, you're gonna find so many French. Loop Station, Solo, everywhere. 